Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So loads of you know that I got engaged back in October and you guys asked me to vlog my wedding experience and the journey. So this is the beginning of it. Today is February, so it's been a little while. Um, we hadn't initially set on a date, but now we've decided we're going to get married on September the 30th this year, so 2020, which is exactly a year since Tommy proposed to me and we are going back to Disney to get married. Exciting. We have chosen the wedding pavilion on Seven Seas Lagoon in Walt Disney World, Florida. We're both massive Disney fans. It's somewhere we love to go. It really is the happiest place on earth. It's our happiest place, so um, it made sense for us to go there. There's only gonna be 10 of us. It's gonna be a really small, kind of intimate wedding. It's right up my street. Um, I'm a little sad because my nan can't come. It's too far for her to travel, so that's why I've just decided to keep it very intimate and just have our immediate family. So I'm having my sister and my nephews, Tommy's having his siblings and his parents. Keeping it small, more affordable, exactly what we want, which is exactly what your wedding should be. So yeah, we've been together 11 years. Um, I totally, totally did not expect Tommy to propose to me. So I'm gonna show you the proposal and I'll put it on screen for you now. I've already chosen my dress. I went to a place called Angelica Bridal in Angel in London. There's been one dress I've loved for absolutely years. I always saw it on Instagram, Pinterest and other places and I remember taking a screenshot of it and thought one day when I get married that's the dress I want to wear. It's by Liz Martinez but it was extortionate. I think it's about £7,000 brand new and even if you bought one second hand it's still about £4,000. And I'm not a shoe, dress, handbag kind of girl. I don't like spending a lot of money on clothes and stuff. I just don't see the point. But when I decided to go and try on dresses, I thought, that's the dress I'm gonna try on. And there was only one place that had it. So it was this one particular bridal shop. I definitely didn't have the intention of buying it. I just thought, I wanna try it on. And if I really like it, then I'm gonna have a dress made within my budget to kind of be based on that dress. So as a lot of you would know that my mum's no longer here, uh, so I kind of wanted to feel like she was included so we decided, me and my sister, to go to the bridal shop on her birthday and try the dresses on. It was a little bit early because we hadn't set the date but I knew that I kind of wanted to get the ball rolling with things because we knew that we were going to be planning it for this year. So this was back in November and I went all the way to the shop, that's the dress I'd selected and they gave me some tags and I selected five other dresses. All kind of similar, very ethereal. I went into the fitting room, tried the dress on, come out, stood on the podium, and my mum's funeral song came on. It was really, really weird. It was kind of like having her there in a sense. It was just so odd. And then me and my sister started to cry, and the lady was like, Are you okay? And I was just explaining to her that it's my mum's birthday and she can't be here, but then her song came on. So it was a really sweet moment, but I didn't like the dress anyway, so that went out the window. I tried on all the other dresses. And then I was like kind of stumped because I, I liked them but I didn't love them. And then the lady came up with another dress and I looked at it and I was like, ooh, don't like that at all. Even my sister scrunched up her face. She was like, mm, don't like that. But the lady said, I won't be offended if you don't want to try it on. And I was like, no, I'll try it on. I was in the full flow then. I was like, trying anything, you know. Tried the dress on. As soon as she pulled it up, I was like, oh, do you know what? I like this dress. And then she put this little belt around it and I was like, I love this dress. And then I stood on the podium and I turned around to them, um, my sister and Tommy's mum, and they're both like, I love that dress on you, it looks incredible. In my mind, I've always been the sort of person that was like, I'm never going to wear a veil, it's not me, don't like it. And then she said, do you want to try on a veil? Again, in the full flow of it, I was like, yeah, go on then. And then as she popped down to get the veil, I said to my sister, I'm not wearing a veil. And then she came upstairs and she put it on and I was like, I love it. <laughs> it was so funny. Then I had the moment. Um, so I started to get teary, which made me feel better because I was like, I love the dress, I know it's for me. And it was within my budget, which was shocking. So um, I loved it. So I will show you the dress. I will take you along a bit further along when I go for my dress fitting. I will take you along then because you're not allowed to take pictures and stuff if you've not bought the dress. So 
my sister was sneaking pictures on her Apple Watch. She set up her phone in her bag and she was snapping pictures, so I had a picture of every dress I tried on anyway, so a little tip for you. That's the dress sorted. I can show you my shoes. I got these. Um, again, I'm not a shoe person, so in my mind I was quite happy to wear flip-flops. <laughs> no, I wanted little heels because if I'm going to be in them all day, I don't want my feet to ache. And you want a little heel for posture purposes. I did spend a little bit extra on these, but they had a sale, so I bought them when they had the sale on. Even though they do bespoke shoes, it still took the same amount of time because they just make them when you order them. So it's kind of like having them bespoke, but you, obviously you've just chosen a design that they've already got. So it's cute because she's even got like a little envelope there with my name on and stuff. And then a little note, and they come with a little bag. So these are the shoe. They're like little strappy ones that go over the front of your foot with a tiny little open toe sandal. They have this beautiful applique on the back and it's 3D and it's made of metal and it's cherry blossom and it's absolutely stunning. I'm not a massive fan of the I do's on the bottom. I feel like it's kind of been done. So I wanted something that was special. So in a couple of days, Tommy and I are going to pick our wedding burns. To be honest with you, I love, love, love my ring. He got it so perfect, so it's his own fault that I don't want a wedding band. However, I am going to go along and try some rings. We're going to Harper Tate in London, which is where Tommy had this one made for me. I'll take you along to our ring session. Morning guys, so today me and my sister and Tommy's mum and his sister are going to a wedding fair. I'm not bothered with any of this time round, but we did with my sister, just because I'm getting married in Disney and I'm not really going to be, you know, getting much from wedding fairs here, so um, the reason we're going is because they do a specific bridesmaid's dress that me and Callie both vetoed for ages, but decided we're going to go and try anyway um, and see what it's like.
Thanks. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because you had a high neck before, didn't you? I do like a high neck. Yeah. That's nice as well. That. Yeah. That. Yeah. I was yeah. Ask me about that one. So in um, oh, that photo, she hasn't got the It's nice, isn't it? It really suits yeah. you. I feel like I should be with the Oscars. <laughs> Actually, I like the back like that. That looks nice, but you can't see it. See, the other one, I still felt like I was dressing up in my dad's clothes. <laughs> like as we used to do as a kid messing around. Take a step back. Hey. Give us a little turn. Me, have you? <laughs> You're so cringe. Turn around. How'd you feel with the white one? It looks more... Groomed? Posh. <laughs> it's more traditional. Yeah. Yep. Um, it depends how you want your wedding to look. Show your mum. Hi mum. <laughs> yeah, you look smart. Yeah, it looks nice. <laughs> Give us a little twirl. Yeah, it looks nice. Just had a delivery and I think it is my florals. I'm so excited. It's only April and I'm not getting married for another five months. Um, but everyone's on lockdown and we don't know if it's definitely going to happen or not but I decided to get silk flowers because we are getting married on one day and then the following day we're doing a photo shoot all dressed up again and it will all make sense later on in the video. It's quite a lot of money to get two lots of florals and also to have it preserved and redone for the following day. I didn't want my bouquet to look really limp in the photos. So I decided I'd get silks because it also means I can keep them. So I'm really excited. I got them from a lady called Laurel's Silk Florist on Etsy. I will link all of her details down below. She's extremely talented. I looked at so many different silks and lots of them just look really, really fake. Um, these ones look incredible so she's so talented and I just wanted to share her details because they are literally amazing so I'm so excited to open the box I'm going to show you now I watch you as you drive do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can okay, so I am over the moon. I'm I'm literally like I need to tell everybody. Anyone that will listen, I wish we talk about everything to do with my wedding. They're gorgeous, she's done an incredible job. Thomas. Hey. What do you think of our flowers? I love them. They're yeah, good, aren't nice. they? Yeah, the colours are lovely. And they go of our living room, not uh, we get married in our living room, but <laughs> so for those of you wondering, they're about roughly £200, that's for my bouquet, two, I got flower girl sizes because I didn't want them to be too big, um, and they're still a great size for a bridesmaid rather than just a flower girl. And then the buttonholes to match, Tommy's has an extra little bud on it, yay! 
just had another delivery for the wedding. Um, I haven't actually opened it properly yet. This is the most I've opened it. I couldn't get into it. It took ages. It's a really weird shape and I could not understand what it was. But I'm really excited. I thought I would vlog it. So, obviously, everybody has a hanger for their dress. So I wanted something that was really special. Oh, it's so cute. So this is the hanger, copper finish to the top, which goes beautifully with my living room because my accent colour is copper in it. And then it has this beautiful wooden Mrs. Archer. I also had a dream is a wish your heart makes, being as we are getting married in Disney. It's so nice. I actually asked for script font similar to this. So usually here you can have the date of your wedding but obviously with this year being so uncertain we've already changed the date once so we didn't want to risk having to buy a whole new one and you can have this in different colours you can have the actual hanger in different colours you can choose a different colour bow it is so nice what a beautiful addition to your wedding so I got this from a store on Etsy I'm going to put their store name on screen now for you and also a link in the description bar quickly recording this on my phone um as we've changed the date of the wedding my shoe date that they printed on there is no longer valid so diy thankfully i got for printer changing it to have my little mickey mouse head that they said i couldn't have so we're in the middle of doing it ourselves billy's helping me I had silver originally, but I decided to go for gold. Now there's this beautiful rose gold because we're having blush. So that was an option. But I decided to go with kind of the soft gold because I think it goes better with the fact that there's gold on here. I chose silver originally because of the back. But yeah, I think it looks nicer. She think that needs more? Do you think that's all right? Uh, I think it might be all right for now. Just, uh... Just let me go around that seam. Don't come in! Don't come in! Don't come in! We're busy! Can we help you? I'll try to put it over Can it. Can the shirt? Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, fill the front, quick. Can we, can you do this in a minute? We're almost finished. Fill the smooth bit. Yeah, it's really good, that. Yeah. <laughs> Go away! This, yeah. this fucking dog. Go away. See ya. Bye. Is it peeling? Yeah, it is. We are missing an R, but that's okay. We know that. Yeah. Today is the 8th of July, um, I am going to pick up my wedding dress, I'm so excited, it's coming all the way from America, um, it was supposed to be in, in April but obviously with the pandemic and everything that was a no go, so today it's the first time it's come in but obviously we've pushed our wedding back to April, so it's in quite early, uh, later than anticipated but earlier than we're going to need it, and obviously with the pandemic in place it means we can't store the dress at the shop so I need to go and get it. And take it home so if i need any fittings done which i hope is not going to be the case um i'll have to go back and have fittings done at a later date so i need to take my shoes with me um i decided to put my hair up because i don't know how i'm going to have it on the actual wedding day i know that i'm not going to have a ponytail so have it how i'm not going to wear it on the wedding it will make me feel a little bit more special when i try it on again for the wedding i feel a little bit nervous i don't know why um I adored my dress when I selected it. It wasn't, I don't wanna say it's not what I was gonna pick, obviously. I've done so many weddings, so, so many weddings, and all of the people, probably 99.9% .9 of the brides I've had have all said that the dress they went for was not the dress that they had in mind. So I anticipate that being the case. Um, I wanted something very ethereal and um, boho, I don't know but then where we're getting married kind of changes the idea of that so we had had plans to get married maybe on a beach in Hawaii or Bali or somewhere I don't know but obviously we're not <laughs> so um I tried the dresses on and I don't have a massive chest at all and lots of the dresses that I tried on were very you needed boobs so I looked at them and thought that's just not me not me at all. It's very fashionable now to have maybe not a completely white dress. And the ones I tried on were really ivory. And once I tried it on, I was like, do you know what? I really like it. Um, and the dress I've chosen isn't ivory. It is ivory, but it's not. 
ivory on its own, you'll see. Um, it did come in ivory, but they didn't have that sample, so I didn't get to try it on. And then I had to make the decision of, do I want it in ivory, or do I want it in the colour I tried on? Hopefully, I'm still going to absolutely love it. So excited. I'm so nervous. Now, obviously, we are going through a pandemic, which means I can't take more than one person along with me. Crystal lives in London, which is Tommy's sister. She's a bridesmaid. Um, and... Jane is Tommy's mum and she lives just down the road from us. So what we decided was Jane's going to come in the car, Callie, my twin, is going to come in with me and Jane's going to sit around Crystal's. Angelica Bridal have a portal that they open. Um, I guess it's a bit like a Zoom and anyone who can't come along to the appointment can watch it. All morning I've been listening to Father of the Bride soundtrack. <sighs> Such a romantic. Oh, it looks so nice. I'm so glad I went with the kind of blush tone. Awesome. Do you want to put the shoes on first? Yeah. Want me to give them to you? Yeah. Are they in here? Oh my gosh, this is so nice. So much dress. Thank you, lovely. Thank you. Yeah. Are you ready? Yep. Yeah. <gasps> oh! Oh, I love it. It is so nice. Oh, Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can you come up here, lovely? Let me help you. Like, get this is so pretty. You'll just get a bit of a longer view. Perfect. Oh, it's a lady under up a foot. Look at that. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. When, 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 Wow. Yeah, you definitely, definitely need a veil. Yeah. I like the, I like the one you tried on before with all those big flowers on. The little appliques oh, on the bottom. I've got that. Those appliques on. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. But because the outer layer is ivory, it does work. It's just, it's like picking up on the Wow. Yeah. It's okay, if you go back that Oh wow, show. That's wow, that is, that is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Wow! Yeah. Yay! Yeah. 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 like a princess, like a real princess. You look like a princess! Princess Osha. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Blake? Feel free to come down. She can't be a Disney princess. Yeah. Do you think Blake's going to cry? Oops, I don't yeah, I like the veil. Do you like the veil? You've seen it now. Yeah, I do quite like it. I think because it adds a little something that, because I've got quite a plain dress, I suppose. Yeah. The dress is so funny. It seems it's so dramatic and it's so yeah. amazingly impactful, but it's got nothing on it. Yeah, it's <laughs> so light as well. Really light. I love how it's got the hoop underneath. Wow. It's sort of green within it. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. It's so nice. Love it, it, fit, uh, it well. fits you really well. Thank you. Yeah, you can really feel like well. yeah. it slips a little bit down, but it, it fits really well. Where have you just been? <laughs> this is my dress. I bought the veil. So excited. That was so much fun. Yeah. I'm boiling now, though. Literally boiling. That shop and the people are so lovely. Expensive, but lovely. <laughs> yeah, and what addition have you just come out with? <laughs> Well, I've got the most amazing veil with little rows of piquets on it and oh, it just looks so pretty. I can't wait to wear it now, I'm just so excited. Good times. <laughs> hey everyone, so it's now July, end of July. Thought I'd quickly show you that I ordered some bridal flip-flops that I spotted on um, Pinterest from I don't even know where they were from, Inspire You or something. I don't even know if it's a reputable company, but I took a chance because the um, they were like flip-flops that were on offer. 
probably like 50% off um, and they're covered in lace and they're so cute I thought if my feet start to hurt um, on the wedding day I can swap them to these flip flops I'm going to show you them or try to so these are the flip flops they're so cute they've got like a little bit that pulls up it's never flattering to get your feet at this angle but I can show you in my mirror so these are the flip flops as you can see they're so cute Oh no, look at all the bruises on my legs. <laughs> um, I spotted them on Pinterest and yeah, they were really cute. They're so comfortable and they cost me about £20. So yeah, really sweet. I thought they were quite bridal, you know, in case I want to take off my actual shoes. They're still available, I'll link them below in case anyone's interested. Hey guys, today I have come all the way to see my friend Kasha, who I've worked with in the industry a number of times in the past. She's a fantastic bridal hairstylist. Um, she used to specialise in a lot of creative hairstyles. So I always said if I got married in the UK, I would definitely have Kasha do my hair, but obviously I'm not getting married in the UK. So she works with a lady called Christina and they both run a hair and makeup academy. So I'd said to Kasha I wanted some pointers for my hair. Um, and she said if I come down and they use me as a model for the academy then I can ask her some hair questions so we're doing a little collaboration just today so I thought I would take you along since it is a little bit wedding appropriate use the 24 yep. millimeters yeah, um, bubbleless pro um, the underneath section I started curling with one size larger the 32 mm -hmm. but I felt the curls were not as bouncy yep. they didn't start um, soon enough so then I went for 24 and it looks much better and now I'm actually unraveling each section because you want a lot of volume so I'm unraveling each section I'll show you so literally I'm taking each section with volumizing powder. There you go. I've got that one. Uh -huh. <laughs> After going through all your things, I was like, yeah. right, buy that, buy that. <laughs> and then just see, very gently, see, I'm very gently back combing the curl from underneath. Yeah. And then still keeping the back combing underneath, I'm smoothing, mm -hmm. smoothing the outer layer. Then spread that with super strong hold hairspray. So Where do you get that particular one? So this one is from Notino. So it's the only brand online, only online company in UK that sells it. Yeah, because I did Notino. Right, yeah. I'll have a look at that. Go there. See, so it's look, a little section, mm -hmm. but very kind of bouncy and voluminous. Lovely. Uh -huh. I think it will hold layer. during humidity as well. Yes, so if you do it this way, so another thing, these curls are done with the top pointing upwards, see yeah. like this. If if this doesn't hold as well as you want, mm -hmm. then you could use the twisty technique instead. The one where you twist, yeah, see I've yeah. always done my hair like that for as long as I can yeah. remember. Yeah, so that will hold for sure. Um, but this gives you gives you like this kind of beach wave, almost glamorous beach wave, yeah. um, which I like. So we'll see, we'll see. Cool. You can come back again. <laughs> and here we have halfway there, very voluminous waves. Yeah, nice.
Hey, it's raining. It's Shock. really raining and it's May. And we are going into our home reception venue to see it for the first time. We've seen it online, haven't we? Yeah, it's amazing. Little photo photographs and stuff. Looks nice. Yeah, it's behind us. Oh, I rain. can see someone's coming out now. Maybe we can go in. All right, we're up. Oh, it's going to get wet. You look nice. Thanks, so do you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for my wedding dress fitting today. So, um, it's in my car. As you can see, now we're going to take it into Callie's car and go into London. <laughs> Stow it safely in Callie's beautiful car. So today, me and Callie are going into London. It is the 23rd of July. We don't know if the wedding's going ahead yet, but we're just gonna go and have the wedding dress fitting anyway, because if it does go ahead, I need to have the dress ready. So we're gonna do that. And then we're going to Sloan Square to the Cosmetics a la carte boutique to do a bespoke lipstick. So I'm gonna take you along and so it should be fun. from Cali. <laughs> You can name it as well, so I don't know if you have that already in your mind, what you want to call it. No, I haven't. A lot of brides call it like their married name. Yeah. Or... Are you okay for me to yeah, swatch yeah, a bit yeah, out of it? Yeah, absolutely. Do you want it to have more of a sort of balmy base? Yes. Yeah. I'm just going to pick out a few and then obviously we can start mixing between them. Amazing. So this one's like a balm texture already. So it's really sheer. It looks really moist on the lips, but then the tint actually stains the lips. So let's just try this one. It's going to be like our starting. So if I get you mm -hmm. to go over. So naturally, you have quite a bit of colour in your lips as well, don't you? Yeah. As in just even the colour on their own is quite nice. Right, here we go. Try this one. So these ones are all quite peachy. So yeah. if we want, we can add a touch of pink if we want to make it a little less orangey. Yeah. Just depends. This one is quite peachy though. It's quite. Sometimes they're too pink. Yeah. So I do. I do like a peachy one. It's 
quite pretty. Yeah, yeah. I mean, looking at it, would right. you want it any darker, lighter, slightly yeah. pinkier? Maybe just a smidge pinkier. Okay, so what I'm going to do is those two, because we like the texture, but add something a bit pinkier. So I'm actually just going to do these two, and instead of this one, I'm going to do the clear one. Yeah, I like that one. That's nice. That's very. That's my favourite out of those mm. three for sure. Yeah, mine too. If you're looking at it, is there anything you would want to add to it? It is very pretty. Do you like it as glossy as that? Because you can do it without the um, gloss, and it would be still moist, just sort of looking. It just wouldn't be as shiny. Can we try it the same with without? What, yeah. yeah. Remember when he I got married? By that point. <laughs> <laughs> he will when the pictures all come back though. <laughs> yes, he's got lips. Probably can't see it in this light. Let's turn around. This is the colour we've gone for. It's kind of like a airs on side more peachy, but it is slightly pink. Um, and it works equally nice when I get a little bit more colour. Right, so three options tonight. Take three. <laughs> you look like a prize mate. Look, recording outdoor walk in the moment, didn't you? Yeah, you are gonna have that tissue stuck to you in a minute. I don't care as long as it dries the patches. <laughs> You'll be taking your dress off and there'll be all patches stuck to you. Should be like, oh, I don't, I'm I'll just there. take that from you and that bit there. <laughs> trying to get uh, into some absolutely smashing looking suits. Hopefully it will all be suitable. With the, with the blush cover tie and I have a navy tie. Like it. Mm -hmm. Smart. Shoesies? Yep, I like them. <laughs> Just your right. I said it's like he's wet his trousers at school. And he's up like this. <laughs> Morning, guys. So we are in January 2022, and we've moved house. We've done lots since I last added anything to our wedding vlog. Covid and everything else going on, it means we've postponed by about two years. So, so I haven't had much to show you because not much has changed since, but I've got this today. This is part of our invitations for our home wedding. So it's January, we've got till April till we go and then we've got a home wedding in May. So Thomas and I decided we would get our invitations done, but with a custom piece of artwork. I want to be careful because I don't want to cut what's inside. But we found a lady on Etsy who does custom um, like watercolour designs and she's incredible. I will link her store below. She done this incredible design for us, I'll show you. So this is the package. She's done a little thank you on there. Oh, 
better in the flesh. So this is me and Thomas in Disney. How beautiful is this? She's so talented. So we found her on Etsy and she does these incredible, incredible designs all by hand. We filled out a questionnaire with her and basically what we wanted to achieve, what we wanted us to wear, uh, the pose we wanted to be in. It was a really nice in-depth kind of questionnaire on how she could achieve this. So this is the original which we're going to put up and frame and we've got a high res scanned version for our invitations. So if you are interested in getting something like this for yourself it doesn't have to be for a special occasion um, but it does work brilliantly for a wedding or a bell renewal or a birthday party or a gift for somebody. Um, I'm going to link her store. She has so many amazing versions of couples and family shops and um, all done by hand. If you are interested in getting something like this done for yourself I'll link these in the description box as well as her website um, and her Etsy store. Thanks for watching guys stay tuned for part two which will be our wedding vacation which will include some clips from our wedding day and then we actually have the official wedding video but I'll obviously we'll upload makeup tutorials in between. I just also wanted to stipulate that I have paid for everything that I have featured. The only products that were gifted to me was the bespoke lipstick by Cosmetics a la carte so a massive thank you to them but I will link everybody below for you. Thanks for watching I'll see you again soon bye guys.